G'day guys, how are you going? I uh, thought the ceiling fixes would be in today to start putting the ceiling panels up for the bathroom and stuff, but they haven't rocked up. Obviously, they're busy and stuff. Um, I've got the new TV, so that's uh, I'll put that up on the wall so they could put the stud wall in. So what they're going to do is um, that's going to you know the, the um, bracket is attached to the concrete, so it's super solid, and then it's going to sit sit back like that, and then um, you know all the plasterboard's going to be built around it. I'll uh, probably put a little shelf in down here. That's where the sound bar will go. I've got a pretty cool bracket too, because you know when obviously if the team gets bigger or something, we can bring it out from the wall and stuff like that and, and bring it over. So I've just wrapped it up in, in plastic so it doesn't get all dusty in that. And so they can, then they can see where it's gonna, gonna sit and all that, so that, that's good. Um, I've been working on the roof a bit too. There's been a, I'll show you in here. Like there's quite a few, I showed you that last time, there's quite a few leaks. So that's that um, plaster or the fiberglass sheeting and it's all just gone um, pretty bad. Still, still a little bit of stuff in there so I put this bitumen coating on there but the trouble is there was a lot of um, like sandblasting material that's you know blown over from there back in the day and so I couldn't really do it so I got the blower up there and blow, blew it off but I'll, I'll take you up there now and show you you know how I've just put the uh, bitumen coating on just to give it a bit of stop gap because um, in the future I'd probably like to replace that with um, you know some of the stuff that's got the insulation in it so I'll take you up on I'll take you upstairs now all right so up on the roof here so where it was leaking, dripping down on, on top of my new ceiling, I've just gone and tried to mark, or measured where they were and you know, like this flu that's come through, I've sort of you know, measured from there. So I had one leak sort of dripping here. You can see I've, I've numbered number six. So there's one here. So I just replaced a couple of screws on that. But a lot of the leaks were coming through this joint here. And I think this sheet here goes all the way under that one and past it. And I don't know how, but the water seems to be going up there and then trickling in when it's really, when there's a real storm or something. And again, in there, I was shoving the blade in and just pulling out heaps of sand and stuff. So I've cleaned it all out as best I could, put silicon in there, and then replaced all these screws here. Replaced them all, and so hopefully there won't be any more water coming out here. And that's the uh, bitumen coating that I've done on the... Uh, for the yeah you know, that fiberglass sheeting, it looks like this over here originally. You can see all the fibres have have just come apart. You can see, and that's that's that grit from the sandblasting. So I was really out to out to sort of blow all that off because when you'd roll it, it would just come off. So this sheet here needs to be replaced. You can see how it's all, you know, it's like the beach sand sort of thing. So it's got to be replaced eventually too. Like I mean, it's in better condition than the one across the. This unit over here, you can see that's all bowed. That would that would leak pretty badly as well. So it's not as not as bad as that one over there. But anyway, I've just got to get through this winter because I don't want to um, start changing roof now. Because you know we've got a good day today, but mate, we had some shock and rain. That's when it all started leaking. So hopefully that's a bit of a stopgap. Um, I would never use that bitumen stuff normally. I'd rather just fix it properly. Um, but like you can see over here too, they've tried to fix a joint um, on the box cutter. Um, I'll show you over here. And yeah, they've just done a dog's breakfast of it. It just makes it harder because you don't know what you're looking at, you know. Yeah, just down here I'll show you. So again, they've tried to stick this sort of joint on here, you know. I don't know how that even works. So it's probably going to cause a leak, you know. And the one I did over there... Um, I cleaned that back in the day, remember, that's, and that's all come up good now, so, you know, it's all sealed up. And that's, um, that's still no leak or anything there, so, anyway. That's where I'm up to, and I'm just waiting for a delivery for some of the uh, stuff for the kitchen now, like the fridge and everything, because um, my uh, cabinet maker said, you better off getting the fridge, like, to your warehouse, because once they install the kitchen, um, he's had quite a few where they've chosen a fridge, put the kitchen in, and then... They just couldn't get the fridge for months and so he's had to go and cut the cut it out and make it bigger or to match the fridge that they did have in stock so that's what we did we went down and just said okay what do you got in stock we'll have that fridge that dishwasher or not, not that washing machine and you know that wall oven and that fridge you got them in stock okay they're the ones we bought so we couldn't be too fussy but again it's just a warehouse but it's nice to be nice anyway 
So this internet cable is a bit of a mystery at the moment. So we've, um, it used to come in here, or it does come in here at the door, right? So, and we've stuck some down it, and it looks like, it feels like it's going that way, but now I'm thinking we, we went outside here, pulled up the, um, pulled up this here, this is where the water meter is, and we've dug all the way down and found, and found everything but that thing. So, um, sort of at a bit of a lost end, but then back in the day when I did that, uh, when we did the sewer, um, where we, you know, cut the whole thing out for the toilet and everything. I remember through here there was um, a couple of 25 mil pipes and a phone line like in under under my unit, and one of them went to the bloke next door. So now I'm thinking maybe that it it goes comes out this way and maybe comes past here. So, so what I might do is just cut a little bit of concrete out here. Um, just down here and then see if that pipe's there and then I can um, maybe join onto it but other than that I'm, I'm out of ideas I don't know if they can find that in some sort of way they can locate where the pipe goes but I mean it's the unit that you know it's, it's structurally it's good but the, the stuff he's done with water mains and stuff is just pretty dodgy you know I had a leak in the in the original water main I was so lucky I put the new one in but anyway I'll cut that up and uh, see what see what happens hopefully it's there okay catch up